This video describes how you set up your class after you have signed up for an Extra Math teacher account. When you sign in to your teacher account, a pop-up checklist appears that will take you through the steps. The first step is to add your students. Click on the first item in the checklist. In the pop-up, select your student's grade and then enter their first names one per line. Use only students' first names. If you have two students with the same first name, you can add a last initial to distinguish them. If you have a split class, then enter the students from one grade first, then repeat for the other grade. The second step is to print parent flyers to send home with your students. These flyers explain the program to parents and give instructions on how to set up a parent account to monitor their child's progress. Make sure that each student gets the correct flyer with their unique six-character enrollment code. After printing the flyers, click Back to Class to return to the checklist. The third and fourth steps are required for students to do extra math in the classroom. If students will only do extra math as homework, then you can skip ahead to the last step. The third step is to print student PIN numbers. These four-digit PIN numbers are used when students sign in in the classroom. On the first printed page is a list of all students' PIN numbers for your reference. The second page contains individual slips that you can cut out and distribute to students. Have them paste their slip into their math workbook so it doesn't get lost. To avoid confusion, do not send PIN numbers home with students, only parent flyers. Parents will be shown and emailed their student's PIN after completing the instructions on the flyer. The fourth step is a video that explains how to prepare shared classroom computers for student turns on extra math. After you follow those instructions, students will be able to use the classroom sign-in page on the shared computers. It organizes student turns so that every student gets a turn on extra math each day. The final step is a video that you can show your class using an overhead projector. The video explains extra math to your students and shows them how it works in the classroom and at home. When you are finished with the checklist, click the box at the bottom of the pop-up before dismissing it with the close button in the upper right corner. You can bring back the checklist anytime by clicking Class Checklist in the left column of the class report. Congratulations! Your class is set up and your students can start mastering their math facts with extra math.